This is a lesson over universe step five, and we're focusing specifically on the scale of the universe. Let's start with the learning targets. The first learning target is that you know light years measure distance. In order to know something, you need to be able to repeat it back, recall it, or retrieve the information, but you might not know much else about it. Light years is the amount of time it Sorry, the amount of distance it takes light to travel in one year. Distance is the amount of space between two objects. The second learning target is that you know stars are so far away that it takes a long time for light to travel to the Earth. We're talking about our sun, but we're also talking about stars that are outside of our solar system. And stars are just balls of gas made of hydrogen, helium, um, and they're just, they're burning and they're emitting or giving off light and heat energy. The third learning target is that you understand how and why light years describe distances in the universe. And to understand something um, you do, you need to know about the how and the why. You need to be able to explain it. You might be able to apply the information in a new way, or maybe teach somebody else about it. And when we talk about the universe, we're talking about everything in existence. The fourth learning target is that you understand the relationship between the solar systems, galaxies, and the universe. So how do they interact with each other? Which is the largest? Which is the smallest? Do they build on each other? So what, just how do, you know, what do they all mean to each other? Solar systems, galaxies, and universe. The final learning target is that you understand the scale of the universe. When we talk about scale, we're pretty much talking about um, the size of the universe and what is our place in it. Are we a very small piece of the universe or are we a large piece of the universe? So what is the scale of the universe and where, what is our place in it? In order to understand all of these topics, you need to know a little bit about light and how it travels. So light is energy. Um, that's created by the sun, and it travels at a constant speed of 300,000 kilometers per second. And that's the same as 186,000 miles per second. So we're talking about fast. The thing is, it is a constant speed, so you can't speed up um, light and how it travels. Second thing you need to know about light travel, and this is just kind of a little example, the sun is 149,600,000 kilometers away from the earth, or 93 million miles away. So it's quite a ways away. Now take a look again at the, um, the speed of light and how fast it travels. Is it going to make, is, is the light going to travel from the sun to the earth in one minute? Five minutes? Ten minutes? How long do you think it'll take? It's not there instantaneous, even though it might be traveling at a constant speed. Because the Earth is so far away from the sun, and light travels at that one constant speed and it can't speed up or slow down, it takes the light approximately eight minutes when it leaves the sun to reach the Earth. Think about that for a minute. The Earth is so far away from the sun that it takes eight minutes. And it's not like light travels slowly. It's traveling at 186,000 miles per second. And it still takes eight minutes to reach the Earth. <whistles> okay, so um, thinking about that, so thinking about the speed of light, how long it takes for light to reach Earth, let's talk about light years and distances. <clears throat> light years measure distance, not time. It's kind of weird considering years is in the word, and years is usually measuring time. However, in this case, it is not. It measures distance. And the way it does that is a light year is the distance that light can travel in one year. So how far can light travel in one year? Oh, the other thing you need to know is that light years, um, they're not used to measure short distances. It's, it would even be hard to measure a light year between the sun and the earth, even though it takes eight minutes for the, um, the sunlight to hit the earth. 
it's, n it's still relatively close compared to some other objects that we'll talk about in, in just a few minutes. So what you need to know about um, a light year is it is a distance. And so here are the distances. I'm going to read the numbers for you because they're huge. So a light year is 9 trillion, 460 billion, 800 million kilometers. 9 trillion, 460 billion and 800 million kilometers. That's how long or how far a light year is. And as you can see, those numbers are huge. We would not be able to talk about how far away the Oort cloud, which is the edge of our solar system, or how far away the, the Kuiper belt, which is just a little bit before the Oort cloud, or how far away is, is the next galaxy, or the next sun, the Proxima Centauri, which is the next, um, it's the closest star to us, yet it is four, over four light years away. And I mentioned the Oort cloud. The Oort cloud is about two light years away from the sun. So the edge of our solar system, take that number, that nine trillion, and double it. And that is the edge of our solar system. Are you starting to think about the scale of our universe? First, we'll talk a little bit about solar systems versus galaxies versus a universe. We all fit together. It's almost like a, um, one of those dolls where they, the, they nest inside of each other. They're like a nest. So we start with the solar system. Every solar system has one star. Ours is called the sun. And other objects orbit around that, that star uh, due to gravity. And so there are multiple, multiple, I mean, tons of solar systems out there in our universe. Galaxies are groups of billions of stars. So our galaxy, the Milky Way, has billions of other solar systems within it. Billions, not millions, billions. And finally, the universe is everything. So it's, it's matter, you know, down to an atom, which is smaller than a cell. I mean, we're talking about tiny, tiny, tiny things. Matter energy, so it's the light, it's the heat, um, anywhere to planets, stars, galaxies. So the universe is everything in it. All right. So we're going to look a little bit about look a little uh, bit at scale here. And so I like to start with this picture because it kind of shows the whole nesting piece that I was talking about earlier. So the very first picture of like the boxes, um, that's the universe. So our universe, we're like uh, in some sort of box. And if you break that box down into smaller pieces, the next smaller piece would be a galaxy. And so that's a spiral galaxy, and it's the Milky Way. And in that galaxy or Milky Way, there are multiple stars. And so we can see three stars here. And stars have cycles, and so that's why we have a, continue, a continu continuing circle here. And so around each star, you might have planets, and so that's where we... That's where we end with Earth. So already you can see that we are teeny, teeny, tiny part of our entire universe. I'm going to show you some snapshots and trying to describe um, what I'm showing here, but this is going to be tricky because you have to be able to kind of picture things that might seem unrealistic. We'll start with a human. So um, you can see on this picture our... Um, the, the size that we're looking at within our universe is one meter. So you see a little gray circle in the middle of this picture and below it is one M. So that's, that is a meter. That's, that represents a meter. And you can see our meter stick. Our human is bigger than the meter. All right, so we're looking at about a meter's size. Now we're going to zoom out. So pretend that you are um, something bigger than the universe and you are looking down on it. And you've zoomed in on humans. So you've zoomed way in past galaxies. You've zoomed past solar systems. Um, and you've zoomed right onto a planet. And not just looking at the planet, but you've zoomed down to where a human looks tiny. Okay, that's where you're zoomed in on. The next step, we're going to take a step back. And we took a huge step back because if you see, Pluto is right in front of us. 
And you can see that that gray circle is one million meters. So we are out there. And actually, we just zoomed right back in a little bit. I, I got this out of order. Sorry, guys. But here we are. So we've zoomed back. We zoomed way out to Pluto. Oh, no, that's right. We're looking at sizes. So Pluto's smaller than the Earth. So we're not going through our, our solar system. We, we looked at the size of Pluto compared to other objects. Now we can barely see Pluto in, in there. Um, you can see the United States, the size of the United States. It's that green U.S. of America, 4.2 something across. And now we're looking at Earth. Okay, so we started with a human. We zoomed out to where Pluto, size of Pluto. Now we've zoomed out to the size of Earth. We're going to zoom out a little bit further. And remember, we're thinking about how big is our galaxy and how big are the objects in it? How far away are they from each other? So now we're looking at a couple of things. We're looking at the sun, um, which is huge. But we're also looking at the distance from Earth to the moon. And so notice that the sun is still larger than the distance from the Earth to the moon. We're going to take another step back. And now we're looking at the distance from Pluto to the sun. So that's about the same size um, as the distance of Earth to moon. So as you can see, we're, we've taken a huge step back. And the other thing that we're looking at is the solar system's Kuiper belt, which is, which is very large in size because it surrounds the entire solar system. Um, and the next object out would be the Oort cloud. And so now we've backed up um, so that we're actually looking at different galaxies. So we're looking at the Milky Way. We're looking at Andromeda. We're looking at black eye galaxies. So we are so far back and we are so looking at objects that are so large that we're just looking at galaxies. Whew. And here it is, the estimated size of the universe. You know, we don't know, but we're talking about 93 billion light years away. 93 billion light years away. Um, or light years in size. So we're talking about huge, which makes me think we are probably not in the center of the universe. That was your lesson over universe scale.